Hi guys, this is the March edition of the Leanna and Andy show. This is my monthly collab with Leanna Dalton. We do this the third Wednesday of every month. And this month we're doing something a little different. We're not using the same palette. We are doing a look based on a photo. So if this sounds fun to you, then stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy. And I'm really happy that you're here. So Leanna and I were trying to figure out what we were going to do this month for our collab. So I just threw it out there. Hey, I'm going to send you two spring photos. You're going to send me two spring photos. And we're going to pick which one we want out of those photos and do a look based on that. So that's what we're doing. So these are the two pictures that Leanna sent to me. Both very different, both very different color stories. And if you know me, you know which one I chose. Yes. I chose this one because, uh, I, I'm not big on pastels. I almost, you know, I almost chose the other one because it's pastels, because it has blues and yellows, which are things that not really blue as much, but yellow. I try to stay away from. So I chose the easy way and I'm doing pinks, purples, with a little bit of green in there. So I'm using the be Perfect Carnival 3 palette. I did choose this for my Shop My Stash. And uh, it's beautiful. I have not used it. Uh, I've kind of been waiting on some spring weather. Just because I've just not been feeling these shades. Uh, it got cold. It got cold. Uh, I'll, you know what? While I'm doing my makeup, we'll talk about the weather. We'll talk about the weather. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some of these pinks and purples. We're going to be using a couple of the greens. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. I am going to do my eye makeup first because uh, um, I might be bringing in some of my look -see shadows too. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, it depends because I know these shimmers are amazing. So they may not need any help. As I said, I am doing my eye makeup first because it is bright makeup. It is darker makeup. And I thought that um, that would be a good move. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I did just prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh my goodness, what are we doing, y'all? What are we doing? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this lilac shade right here all over my eye uh, lid, just my lid. Yeah, move some stuff around a little bit. Okay, so the weather here in Ohio has been so weird uh, the last, well, all winter actually. We usually have pretty bad winters. They don't usually start until February. Um, all of February, we averaged temperatures in the 50s during the day. Yeah. So we had like barely any snow. We did have some kick-ass thunderstorms and we did have some uh, tornadoes. We did in February, but we, we barely had any snow this year. And I should not say much because, um, there's still time. Yeah, guys, there's still time. There have been years that we have had snow clear up until April. And uh, I really hope that doesn't happen because I am not, if you're new here, I'm not a winter person. I don't like the winter. I am st a strict summer gal. I do like the fall and I do like the spring, but we just don't get much of that here uh, at all. We do not. We do not get much spring or fall. I love the fall. I think the fall is would be my favorite if we actually got fall. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this Tahiti right here. Is that Tahiti? Yeah, Tahiti right here. Looks a little bit more purple to me than it does on camera but we are going to go into that. And I'm going to put that uh, probably the outer part of my eyelid and probably up into my crease. 
area, maybe a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. Yeah, so it has been cold. This week has been cold. I've actually been wearing my winter coat, which I hadn't been wearing. I've been wearing my, um, I have a Columbia fleece that I have been wearing. Um, also my work jacket um, at work. They provide us with a jacket that has the company name on it. And it's a really nice jacket, but in the winter, um, they provide us those because we do have to go outside and receive trucks in the evening while overnight. So, well, that's really pretty. So they do provide us with a jacket, but it's not near warm enough um, for the middle of winter normally. You guys, that is bright. But you know what? The flowers in that picture are bright. They are. They are bright, beautiful pink and purple flowers. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of tree that is. I know we don't have them here in Ohio. I can tell you that. But it's beautiful. Okay, now I am going to go back into that lilac shade. And I am going to kind of buff this out at the top. The lilac shade was the shade I used on my lid. I need to do my brows, you guys. It's been a minute since I've done my brows. My nail place still doesn't have a brow person. Which is where I was getting them done. I usually just take those little razor thingies and do it. Because I'm lazy. But I think I am going to. I used to have a wax, a wax warmer, a wax melt up. Uh, for a wax, you know what I'm saying. And um, it got very old and very gross. And so I did end up throwing that away. It was really old. I mean, I think I bought that probably at least 15 years ago. So I've been seeing this cold wax. I mean, it's still hot. I don't know why they call it cold wax. But you don't need the little strips of fabric. It's... um. You put it on and then pull off the wax. Man, that's bright. Holy shnikes, that's bright. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm going to clean this brush off because I really like it. Uh, this is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A502. And I'm going to go into this Blackberry shade right here. It's a dark purple. And I am going to put that in my outer corner. I think that once I get the shimmers on, it's going to come together. Trust the process, as they say. Yeah, I'm really kind of glad that I did my eye makeup first. Because, I mean, it's not really fallout. I'm not, I'm not getting much fallout. But I do want to go into the these outer edges and clean those up a little bit when I'm done. Anthony and I went out to eat tonight. We went to a it's a bar and grill. But they have really amazing food. So we did that tonight. Uh, we have been discussing we eat out a lot. We eat out like I take my lunch to work every day, every night. Um, so I don't, every once in a while, me and some of the supervisors will door dash. Um, and I do have the dash pass, so I don't have to pay, you know, the huge delivery fee, but you still have to tip. Obviously you still have to tip. I'm going to take that in my crease. You know, I don't know if I like this, this purple shade. It seems very, very patchy. Like, extremely patchy. Yeah, I know I have some wrinkly eyelids, but there are, like, a lot of lines there. It's, uh, it's deepening up nicely, but it's taking a little bit of work. And my Carnival 4 palette from them, it's more neutrals and 
fall shades and things like that. Um, it doesn't do that, which I think this is all going to be covered up anyway, because I am going to put, obviously put some shimmers on the lid, because that's what I do. But man, that is bright. I haven't done a bright look in a long time, though, so that's nice. It's a lot of work. Um, I even changed, I changed brushes, like a, a flat brush that would maybe, flat or brush that would maybe pack that on. It's just not doing much. That's kind of weird. Like those pinks went on beautifully and blended beautifully. And this is not. You know, I don't want to change directions midstream, but I may... I may pull out a different palette. All right, I am going to go into this Blue Moon um, right here. You're seeing it in its blue. It's 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 purple, you guys. I don't know if you can see that the shift in that, but it's pretty amazing. I don't know why. I don't know why I had such problems with that purple, you guys. I'm like shocked. I'm like very shocked at that. Can anyone tell me why I'm doing a spring look wearing a black sweater? It just hit me. I'm always, you guys, I wear black. I wear black all the time. Okay, I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to go into this Starlight right here also looks to be a duo chrome. And the shades really aren't that different from one another, honestly. They're still, they have a blue flip to them, which is great. Um, because that the flower is a very uh, cool purple shade the flower in that photo. So I wanted something that was a little purpley blue. That's one of the reasons why I thought this would be such a great palette for that. And it is chunky. It is very chunky. Extremely chunky. Hmm. We're going to make it work, you guys. We're going to make it work. Make it work moment right here. I have purple chunky eyeshadow on the front of my sweater. All right, enough of that. Now I'm going to take another flat brush. These are the AOA Studios um, Shop Miss A E121 brushes. They're my favorite shimmer brushes. And I'm going to go into this pearl, which is right here, which also has a flip because it's pink. It's very pink. Not very pink, but it's a soft pink. Or maybe I should go into the rose pink. I'm going to go into the rose pink. And then I'll do that pearl on my inner corner, I think. We're just going to blend those two together as much as possible. So we want it to be a seamless gradient. That is a beautiful pink. It's very foily. Which, spraying with setting spray also is a really great way to foil out your shadows. I am going to use that pearl on my inner corner, but I'm going to wait until my face makeup is done for that. So I'm going to go off camera, do my base, um, finish off the under part of my eyes and do all that stuff, liner, lashes, lips, and we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, you guys, we're back. That was a lot longer for me than it was for you. Struggle bus with the lashes. It was going to be a lash day. Mm -mm, no, it's not a lash day. Uh, my MAC lashes, my MAC lashes were not cooperating. So I had to ground them. So this is my finished look and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It was a little bit of a struggle um, getting there. The purple, the purple was very patchy and I don't understand why that was, but the shimmers are beautiful. I love the shimmers. Um, if I wore those shimmers again, well, when I wear the shimmers again, I should say, 
um, I will be putting on a glitter primer because they are really chunky. They're very chunky. And I did have a lot of fallout on my face. Yes. So uh, let me show you quickly what I used on the rest of my face. I primed it with the Dominique Blur and Moisture Primer. Um, I used the Perlis Radi uh, Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream, SPF 30. Um, I'm trying to use this up because this is this is in my deck of panning and uh, it's way too light, way too light for me. So I used that kind of on top of my primer. Don't ask me, you guys. I'm just trying to use it up. Um, and I used my e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and I used shade 240 W and 280 N. Um, both of these, this one's, this was the 240. No, this is the 280 N. It's, um, it's almost getting down there. 240 W. Um, this was a replacement and I'm already almost done with it because I love it because it's my favorite. Um, oh, this is gross. Stand by. This packaging gets a little messy. I did contour with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in honey. This is, Mm, that much too warm as a contour. Uh, it is a really pretty cream bronzer. It is. Um, but I use it as a contour today. I like them cooler. Anyway, I used my Milani baked bronzer as a bronzer. And then for my blush, I used this wet and wild. I got this from Erica Conger. Uh, this is in the It's All Right. And I used this shade right here with a very light hand. It is very pigmented, like crazy pigmented. Really pretty though. Um, for my highlighter, I used this highlighter right here. And this is from Copacetic Cosmetics. And it is called Mr. Mint. And it is a beautiful pinky highlighter. My eyeliner, I used this Scone, S-K-O-N-E, tattoo liner. It is a felt tip liner. I tight lined with the Avon glimmer sticks. This is in black ice. And then for my mascara, I used the Lash Princess mascara. I didn't do, do a double mascara today um, because I was already having issues with my lashes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. So on my lips, I did not use a lip liner, right? And I used these Juvia's Place um, lippies and they are in Madame and one of his Madame matte and Madame metallic. Now the metallic is pretty matte. I would definitely use a gloss over this because the matte is very, very matte. So I put the metallic over the matte, still really matte. So yeah, that is what I used. I did end up putting a green underneath my eyes because of all the green in the photo. And I used this green right here. This is from Nomad. This is a Nomad single. And it is from the Costa Rica palette, Montverde. It is from the Montverde palette. And it is in the shade, oh my gosh, this is so tiny. This is in the shade Wildlife Wonderland. And it is such a pretty, it's so funny that the two I got were both greens. But that is such a beautiful green. I did have this green on top. I put this green, or this green underneath, I mean. I did have this green underneath. Um, it was very, uh, it, it went on nicely. It did. I think it was just that purple. Um, but I needed some a little bit more pizzazz. You know what I mean? So I decided to use that right there. Um, these two are Nomad. And I ordered those when I ordered my Z palettes. So that's what I used, you guys. You guys, don't forget to go over and check out Leanna's video. I will have a link to her video as well as her channel in the description box below. If you don't know who Leanna is, why wouldn't you? But if you don't, uh, go over and check her out. Hang out for a little bit. Watch some of her videos. You'll love her. Everyone loves her. She's amazing. Leanna, thank you so much for another collab. I love you. And you guys, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later.